Hey everyone, this is Adrian with Manitraders and I'm here to show you how to use your new Manitraders rental subscription. First thing you want to do is go to the deck builder portion of the site. Once we're on this page, we can add cards to the deck using the search feature. And if you do want to add a card to the sideboard, you can just click on the add to sideboard option as well. If you do have the deck file or from an external site, you can go to the upload deck feature. Go to upload a file choose the file, click on our deck, and upload. Once your deck is ready to go, we do want to go ahead and click on download if you do need the deck file for Magic Online. So let's click on Red Deck. We do want to make sure that this is our Magic Online username so that the trade goes to the correct place. And for any of your event ticket needs, you can purchase them right from here and they will be sent with the trade request. All right, now that Managers is processing our request, let's go to Magic Online to see how that's done. We're gonna to wanna to go to Collection, then go to our format of choice, add the deck, import the file we just downloaded, click OK. And there we go, now we do have our deck fully imported into Magic Online, and now we are just waiting for Manitraders to send the trade request. All right, looks like we did just receive our trade request from Manitraders. So let's go ahead and take a look. We do wanna accept the trade request with our full trade list. Once we're on the trade screen, we do wanna click on Control A and left click on a card. This will just let us move all the cards with one motion to our side of the trade. Once the cards are there, we do want to click submit and confirm the trade. All right, now the cards have been added to our Magic Online collection, and we are ready to play in any of the constructed events. When you are ready to return your cards, we can do this one of two ways, but we do want to make sure that this constructed arrow is not filled in red, because that will mean that you are registered in a league or event, and it will not let you trade the cards back to us. Let's click on home. What we can do to trade within the Magic Online client the cards back is add as a buddy, mana return one through five. Once we have them added, we can just right click on their name, hit trade. We do want to trade with that full trade list as well. All right, so now the bot is going to automatically add the mana traders cards. All right, now the bot is going to add the cards to the mana traders side of the rent. We're going to click on submit once the cards have been added to their side. All right, and once we're ready to submit the trade, we would just click confirm trade. An alternative way of returning the cards is through the Mana Trader site. You can hit click to request a trade and return cards. All right, and now we have just processed a return request for the cards on our account. All right, looks like we did just receive the return request. We're going to click on accept with our full trade list. All right, and the bot has just added the cards to their side of the trade. We're going to click on submit and we're, then we're going to hit confirm the trade. All right, so the cards have been traded back successfully. And we can't check this by going to the Mana Trader site, hitting the Motor Rents page. All right, and now we can see that we have no granted cards at this time. If you have a question or concern about the Mana Trader's subscription or the Mana Trader series, please feel free to contact us on the site through our live chat or at staffatmanagators.com.